Hi, I'm Tony Kambik, Temporary Power Product Manager for Southwire, here to talk to you about our Temporary Power Distribution Offerings. Now at Southwire, what we do is we make temporary power boxes, carts, and cables that basically enable the same distribution system that we have in our residential and commercial neighborhoods. Somewhere you have a power plant or a generator producing that electricity, you have a distribution network of wires and cables bringing it to a substation, further stepping down the power into your home into something you can use, in most cases a duplex receptacle. Our temporary power products basically enable the same thing, but we build the equipment so that's modular, portable, and durable, so they can be connected at one job site, used, disconnected quickly, and taken to the next job site, and last for years and years. We basically build a number of boxes, cables, and carts that enable even the smallest contractor, perhaps lurking in a residential community, to the largest construction sites in the United States, to enable to take that power source and distribute it safely. Now, in most cases, either a generator or a power grid, you're gonna have the same problem. You're gonna have a generator in this example that has an engine on the generator that is capable of more output, in this case, close to 7,000 watts, uh, than the receptacles that are on the face of the generator. This whole thing would have way more connections on it than is economically possible for this generator manufacturer. So what they do instead is they put usually a large industrial style receptacle on here as well, leaving it up to the user to connect a temporary power system. And that's what we have an example of here. What this box enables the user to do is connect it to that industrial style receptacle, and it has two safety devices that are required by the NEC and OSHA to break that power down to something that can get used. Here again, duplex receptacle. The first is a circuit breaker, and this is because this industrial receptacle here is a 30 amp device. These duplexes are 20 amp device. So very similar to your home, I have to have the circuit breaker in line to protect that wire and to protect that equipment from overheating. The second thing is this, it's called a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI. You probably see them around your house and they look very similar to the GFCI receptacles on this generator. However, these GFCIs required by OSHA have some different functionality than the ones you find in your house. They have open neutral protection and reverse phasing, uh, as well as self-testing, all meant to protect the worker from getting shocked. All of our temporary power products that have 20 amp devices include this GFCI because that's mandated by OSHA. Now in the system such as you see here, all you would have to do is take, in this case, an L1430 cord, connect it to your generator, run that cord a distance. Perhaps your generator's outside and you need to go inside. Here we have it through our shock shield cable protectors. And at the other end of the cord, that's where you connect your temporary power box. Just twist it in there. And here you see, this is a little different setup than the other one. Here you see your circuit breakers are underneath this flip cover. Your GFCIs and receptacles are on the different sides of the box. And then you can plug in your tool or whatever it is you need. Could be a light, could be a compressor and you still have your GFCI receptacle. One more thing I'd like to mention is we make a whole variety of temp power centers for different sizes, even on small jobs. What you see here is a 30 amp device, outdoor rated, but we also make them compact indoor rated as well, uh, as well as we make larger ones for 50 amp services. Thank you for watching our video today on temporary power product boxes. For more information, please visit our website, southwire.com, and navigate to the temporary power page.